Haha, <laughs> first. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. Or good afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wake up late. Hmm. I mean, that's understandable. You work nights. Yeah. But at least I was kept warm by by by. Uh, Soro says, "Ha ha, second. Soro. Oh, shit, Soro's in the Twitch chat. Oh, yes. shit. Hi, Soro. Hi. 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 Hi, Soro. <laughs> I don't recognize oh, this music. Both of my girlfriends are here. Wow. That is so cool. Both of my girls. Must be like a cutscene track from Sonic something. Ah. Uh, well, it's over now. Yep. Nothing unusual here. <laughs> Someone didn't get the memo for the theme. <laughs> mm, Chow should be joining us soon, huh? Yes. Have you ever tried this? Uh, randomized? Yeah. Uh, no, not yet. Mm. I probably should, though. I mean, I've played Kingdom Hearts 2 like three times at this point all the way through. Yeah. And once you figure it out, we could do a race. Oh gosh, you're gonna fucking wipe the floor with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm that good at Cage 2, but... Well, I mean, you stream it regularly. I don't, so... Yeah. Have you ever beaten the game in critical mode? Um, outside of the randomizer, I don't... I'm not sure. Because, um, I haven't tried it yet. Uh. I mean, I do critical mode in the randomizer. Yeah, so you've got more experience there than me. But, that also, like... You can end up getting way more powerful than you would normally in the randomizer, so kind of balances out. Mm. Also, last night, if you didn't see, I was working on Kate's hairs. Yes, I saw the hairs. This looks pretty. Got some nice shapes going. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you for complimenting my hair shape, I guess. Yes, it's very hairs. <laughs> what is that even? I'll let you figure it out. Ah, Sora not matching the theme again. Mm. I think he's doing it just to stand out. Sora and Goofy oh, wait, match. Donald. <laughs> oh, oh, um... <laughs> huh. Donald, Donald's just... He's trying to catch up with what Sora was doing, but then Sora changed. Mm. Oh. Why would I start with... Okay. Neat AP boost. Oh wait, I'm watching this stream. I need to watch the other stream. Yeah, I, for some reason I'm starting with 100 AP. 
I don't remember oh. turning that on. This version of the music never kicks in, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a shame because I really like the other part of this music. Yeah. I really like the OST version. Yeah. Got an extra bit on it. Yeah, I like the version that plays on the character select screen. Mm hmm. A lot of wisdom. You know, now that I think about it, once I finish the Kate model, it'll be relatively trivial to put her in an Organization 13 coat. Ooh. Pages, hooray. Hmm. You know why I come to Halloween Town first? Uh, why? Because Jack's limit is really powerful. Oh. Is it as powerful as Tron's? I don't know, but you don't get Tron's limit right away. Uh. It's easy to kill enemies with Jack's limit here. Mm. Especially when you're low leveled, it's some nice, easy damage. With no risk. That's a pretty hard encounter normally, but with the limit, I just cleared it all. Hmm. Nice. I see what you mean, actually. Last night, I was doing a whole lot of singing Utada Hikaru songs and hmm. crying. <laughs> Yeah, well, we won't hear any of those today. Hmm. Have you ever read the lyrics to Chikai? I or... did last night. Oh, because I posted it, huh? Yes. They killed me? Hmm. It's so sweet. Yeah. I mean... I really like the lyrics to Don't Think Twice. Yeah, those are good too. I think it's very applicable to Sora in general. Yeah. Always ready to jump in to help someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Such a good game. Oh. Oh. 
It's not strong enough to get me down to critical damage. But too strong that I can't survive two hits. Oh yeah. Got about the critical thing. Yeah. You need to go into you know, critical damage in order to activate auto forms. Mm. Ooh, I can synthesize thunder. Did you see my post on Twitter about it? These are not heartless. Okay, these are heartless. Is it cow? I don't know. Oh no. What? Oh no. Offline mode. That sounds bad for a street. Why is it spamming? There we go. I don't know. It couldn't connect to the servers for a second there, I guess. I've never seen that before. I've seen it happen a few times. Huh. Shit out of me on Steam Deck, I bet. Yeah. But at least it didn't close the game. I do want to try getting on Steam Deck, though. I don't know how easy or hard it'll be. I think there was a solution for the Epic Store games. Yeah, you could just, like, install Windows on the thing and then... Why would I do that? I don't know. Proton is, like, really good. Yeah, I guess. It requires a bunch of tape, but it works. Yeah. Cool, shout out to the it works. Still hasn't worked for Hedge Mod Manager, though. Don't know what I'm doing there. Doing wrong there. Mm, I discovered it didn't work for my uh, Skyrim ENB either. <laughs> it just straight up wouldn't render. ENB? Yeah, this is a graphics enhancement. Ah, oh, I didn't know what that stood for. It's the thing it's they bad. use to make SA2 look wet. Ah. Oh. <laughs> reshade. Oh, it's not Reshade. Oh. Reshade's a different one. Mm. Uh, PNB, I think, is a little bit more in-depth than Reshade. Uh. But it do make things look wet, though. It can. It can, but it doesn't for Skyrim. It just makes things look a lot more alive and colorful. I think there's some audio bleed going on. Oh yeah, a little bit. My mic? Yeah. Well, let me see what I can do for that. Oh. This is a cage 3 cutscene track, isn't it? Oh. What if I turn down the sensitivity? That might help. Don't go too low or it won't pick you up. Yeah, it's kind of crazy because normally your mic is way too quiet, and now it's like actually really loud. I don't know. Peculiar. Strange, isn't it? Strange, isn't it? MP Haste Gar. Yeah.
I only watched the Sonic OVA once. Huh. It's weird, though. I, I do it. remember it's weird. I have watched okay. it at least ten times at this point, <laughs> I love it. I have it on VHS. Yeah, I wow. don't even have a VHS. I don't even have a VHS player anymore. I don't either. Kate, Kate, when, Kate um, 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 when I visit you, whenever that is, um, um, can we watch it on VHS? Well, I don't have. Why a not watch it over Discord? Well, what was that, Kate? And yeah, we could do that. Um, I don't have a player for it. Oh. Well, shit. Um, I mean, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, we'll just have to watch it. We can just watch it digitally, I guess. I guess. Oh, there it goes again. I also haven't finished Sonic X. Hmm. Oh, I was watching Sonic X in Japanese and actually enjoying it more. Yeah, I've heard the... the... The, the sub is a lot better. Chris actually isn't as annoying and is actually kind of cute. The only reason I haven't watched it more is because, like, it's like a thing I watch with my sister, I guess, and, like, I, I am bad at uh, inviting her. Mm. Uh, Same with Sonic Prime. I still haven't watched any of that. I watched all of it. It was okay. I haven't watched any of it either. I kinda like it. I swear the only reason she's interested in Sonic though is the Boom cartoon, which... Eh. It had its moments. It was pretty funny at times. I mean, I guess she did play Sonic Adventure 2 until that computer died, and then she didn't play it again. Oh no. Aw. Because she lost her chow! Oh, Aww. well, that's... Yeah. I keep telling her she should, she should like get the computer and have Dad look through the hard drive and get the Chow files out, but she hasn't done that. Hmm. Okay. Random frog forest. I'm too powerful for these auto abilities to be any use. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Yeah. 
armor slot. I never have any exciting stories to tell. It's very sad. I mean, I don't either. I have stories to tell, but none of them are exciting. <laughs> You're exciting. <laughs> Both of Gosh, you. Kate, you could probably give me any compliment, and I'd probably react like that, you know? That's nice. Hey, hey, Kate. Yeah? You are cute. Maybe. Yes. I don't know. You are the cutest. Yeah! Just listening to how you're reacting to being called cute tells me all I need to know. Mm. <laughs> This could be really- oh, well, that's not a good sign to start with. Rooms like the full version of this room annoy me because it's like, it would be wrong to take all this treasure. Mm. But also, you can take treasure from the treasure chest. Mm. Oh, yeah. Is still here, by the way? I don't know. She probably had to go do stuff. Nice. 
mean, if you're a mod, can't you check that? I don't... I'm, I'm not a moderator. Yes, you are. Uh, I am? Yes. Uh, what did this happen? I don't Yo. know. A while ago. Oh. You never told me. I guess. But yeah, thank you. I will do my best to help. Oh, I'll do better! What? Oh. It's not a contest. I'm just kidding. I ended up writing poetry because of you. I mean, I think it would be more because of Maine, but... Well, yeah, but you know. I, the idea never crossed my I, I brain until you, until Kate started talking about poetry and you were like, oh, I wrote poetry. Or I forgot how the conversation went, but you know what I mean. Hello? Yeah. It was nice to remember that I like to write poetry because I, I forget. I forget that and I don't do it for months on end. I, I, I did it and it was kind of cringe. <laughs> It's okay, I don't need you to write stuff for me. But but you liked it still, right? Yes. Just, Even I... though it was kind of cringe? <laughs> that is cringe. True. Currently only you and Soro know about it. <laughs> know what it was, because I'm too embarrassed to let anyone else see it. Hmm. really share the poems I write around because like I wrote them for Maine she owns them she can share them you want me to share your poems I don't really care if you share them or not huh. please don't share mine though it's not <laughs> I'm sorry it's it's not that terrible you know it's I like it but if you don't want me to share it, then that's fine. You know what? You know what? If you like it, you can share it. Fuck it. I'm going to be brave puppy. Hmm. I wrote a poem, a love poem once with about Sonic the Hedgehog. It can't be that bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. I kind of want to read it. I remember the first line was a speeding hedgehog brought us together. Oh, oh, that's actually really cute. <laughs> I could say that a lot about a lot of my friends, though. Yeah, I guess. I could say that about Kate too. I mean, hmm. first time I saw her was the Sonic Retro forums. I remember going to her website to get all the neat tools she made and thinking, wow, this person is very smart. The first time I talked to her was to try and figure out why SADX mod loader wasn't working. And then I had another question. I was like, oh, I don't want to bother Kate again. I'll I'll go ask on another place. And she answered, and that place, that is it. Hmm. <laughs> because she's just so helpful. Well, if I know the answer, why wouldn't I help? Yeah, see, this is why you are very good. You are so nice. And helpful and good, and you taught me so much. We're just being pure sugar today, aren't we? I can say negative things. <laughs> no, please don't. It's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually have negative things to say. That's good. Why is it playing this music here? <laughs> Imagine if 
though, is it's a hidden boss fight with Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I mean... I could turn on a mod. Oh my gosh. Organization 100. a fourth person main likes to talk to but also is in a reasonable time zone so we can play more games together Ooh. I mean I think Rius and Cutie are both in reasonable time zones they just work uh. you know yeah. Everyone's asleep when I work. Nice. <laughs> Is this just the music Beast listens to in his room? Beast is an edgy teenager. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He kinda is. He, he, he kinda is. Considering when he was transformed into a beast. <laughs> yeah, I guess beasts don't just go, don't have, don't like learn very good social skills. Yeah. He's been by himself in a castle, turned into a beast since he was a teenager. I, I think he never like progressed past that state. Ow. Those statues are being very mean to you. I thought I was younger than teenager, though. Uh, a little younger. <laughs> oh man. Maybe I, was I just say something earlier, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> I think the conversation moved away from it, though. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was going to bring up the first time I ever interacted with Kate, ever talked to her. Hmm. And I'm not sure which one it was. It was either in a forum thread about Sonic Adventure or... It was the time that I messaged her on Yahoo Messenger asking her about the source code to Sonics and hmm. how the movements work. So I can make my own fan games. I forgot, you do remember that, right, Kate? Kinda. Some rando used probably by the name Alan Guy 98 just talking to you on Yahoo Messenger about it. Yeah, Kate doesn't remember my first message either. I wonder if this logs still exist. But you know, I don't remember when I first met Sorrow either, so it's okay. Mm. Just like I've always known. Her. I can't pinpoint an exact year when we met, <laughs> but I'm guessing around 2013-ish. Mm. So I guess technically I've known Kate longer, but I didn't know her. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to make a song reference, but I can't remember the name of the guy. <laughs> Who sang Free Fallen? I don't know. Tom something. Tommy was yeah. so. <laughs> I don't think so. He's a movie guy.
But anyway, it's just like his song, uh, A Face in the Crowd. Tom Batty, that's his name. Oh, right, him. Yes. In JoJo. Oh, he was? That was a character named after him in JoJo. Wonderful. He was an old Hamon master. In a million faces, recognize them all. One by one, they all become a number as they fall. Yes. That that's a reference more close to home. Is it I haven't listened to Tom Petty in years. You looking for? Let me show you who I am. I'm here for. Huh. Live and learn. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. Well, Pumpkin Hill, are you ready? I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. Down in Pumpkin Hill, I gotta find my lost piece. I know that it's here. I can sense it in my feet. The great Emerald Power allows me to feel. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of something. Um, you know my uh, friend Kuro, who um, I used to I've known since middle school, right? Yep. I remember one day we were being silly because like we had separate math classes but we had these little notebooks that the teacher would give with a writing prompt in which is kind of weird for math class. Uh-huh. And um... It's like one of those magic notebooks that you can write to each other in like that one Harry Potter we did, thing. We did, we took each other's notebooks and left little things for each other. In them. And I remember there was one where we combined the lyrics from Death Chamber and Space Trip Step. Hmm. And Death Chamber, don't let it hit you, boo. And it was like an inside joke. And then I drew with tiny little knuckles and like a giant pyramid about to fall out of Don't let it hit you, boo. The Death Chamber. Not E01. He thought it was pretty funny. Ah, uh, well, I already have everything in Creations. That told me nothing. Hooray. How could you do that to E01? <laughs> That's the name of the pyramid, it's E01. I, I guess. It's what it says on the center part. Yeah. I wanted to make it playable. <laughs> the entire level? Yes. That's well, I was gonna rip it from... I was gonna rip the whole pyramid from Grind Race, but uh. I forget what happened. I feel like I'd need to add some robo arms and legs. Ooh. That's another thing for Alan to model. <laughs> A Jenny to model. E01. <laughs> I could, I could, I could try. No, it's just a dumb joke. But it's a joke for me. Just to say that I did it. Boy. And I did it before anyone else was able to do it. I was able to make Chow's silly idea become a reality. What voice lines would the pyramid use, though? I don't know. You don't want it to be silent, that would be boring.
too. What? some clips the other day that I never reposted on Twitter or anything. I should do that. Yeah. I did retweet the Silver Hammer Pride image. Wonderful. don't understand what well, you see the the tower enemies in frontiers they change color and shape as you progress through the game they're, they're transitioning oh wait did I was I there for that part I don't know maybe I think the Warhog should be a trans icon. Not because he's trans, just because I like the Warhog. He's funny. I can imagine him being a he, him, lesbian. <laughs> oh my gosh. Totally. Did I ever tell you that that, that my headcanon for, for for Joker from, from Persona was that he was actually trans? I think you Which mentioned way? that. And uh, no, it's, 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 it's a trans man. Trans boy. Oh boy, whoever his girlfriend is be is going to be in for a surprise, I guess. What? Hmm. I don't know what that People means. People love him anyway. Because, because it's, it's, it's... I can't go into detail on the stream. You... <laughs> oh, you're talking about Joker, not... Yes. <laughs> not you. No, no, no. I am a trans girl. It is the opposite. If all the consoles engaged in a fight, who would win? Uh, I'm placing my bets on the N64 DD. Oh shit. What yeah, metric got, are we it's using? Got, it's got big titties. <laughs> this is the DD. Oh boy. <laughs> it's over. Dance for disc drive. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> we know I got them bazongas. What? Big boobs don't help you win in a fight, though. Well, I mean, they can if you use them as, um, I don't know, counterbalance. I mean, what what determines their strength in this case? Because, like, if it's CPU, then it would have to be. Like Any the PS5 or the Xbox yeah. Series X. 
just like you gotta factor in many things, like their size and their. Well, I mean, in that case, the Steam Deck will probably win because it's really powerful for its size. I mean, yeah, I unless guess. you go for like the original Xbox is huge. You just crush everything else. Oh yeah, if we go by its size, as in size, as a positive thing. This is it. But like, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So if they don't got power, mm -hmm. then like, then like they'll just fall over, like the rest. Huh. Yeah, but the Wii's got a gun. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the Wii has a gun. Go to the NES and SNES. Oh yeah, huh? Okay, so they're definitely, um, it's definitely gonna be between those three then. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Nintendo right. and their love of guns. Let's go. You think they were American or something? Boy, let's go. The light gun in Japan, its design is very not okay for American kids. It's too realistic. Mm. Yeah. Boost. I want to be tall and pretty like Rosalina. Hmm. I mean, you're already pretty. I am tall. So there you go. You win. How tall are ya? Like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, oh something gosh, like that. you're taller than me. Yep, taller than I'm me too. Like, I'm only like 6 feet. <laughs> I like to pretend I'm small, though. Bunch of tall ladies hanging out. Mm. Fun fact, when I was young, I would... I would... Role play in my head sometimes that I was a girl and I did use the name Rosalina. Huh. Now I'm Corin. When I was a kid, Rosalina wasn't in doubt yet. Hmm. She didn't come out till I was a preteen or a teen. Yeah, straight up team, not pre team. Kate was already in high school at the time. I was in yeah. high schooler, and I was hanging out with Kuro. Good old Elliot Middle School in Pasadena. We had a tower. A tower defense? Yeah, yeah, sometimes the school would get raided and we had to man our stations. Was it by balloons? No. And were you monkeys? No. <laughs> I was not monkeys, I was a puppet. What kind of tower defense is this then? Oh, uh, it's the one where, um, it's over. things happen. Uh. If it's not Bloom's tower defense, then who cares? Me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. God, I used to love Bloom's tower defense. If, if, if the new game didn't have the same old microtransactions that it used to have when it was free, I probably would have bought it. Hmm. 
The Wii with the gun is just making me want to talk about another Arrivals of Aether Fighter. That's great. Huh. Uh -huh. His name's Justin, and he's just a normal guy. He can only jump once. He can. He's very slow and can't jump very high, but he does have a gun. He's one hell of a guy. And the gun, the gun is good. It, it's the. Oh, he also has the power of Jesus, but that's not as important what? as the gun. Power of Jesus yeah. and this gun. Take this. Yeah. I have left the power of God and enemy on my side. Yeah, the best part of the gun is that it can run out of ammo, and once it runs out of ammo, you don't get any more until you die. Well, that's because seems... realism. Oh, he also has really low stamina, so he can't run for very long. He's the best. Best rivals of Aether Fighter. Huh. I have interesting taste in fighting characters. He's just very funny. I still want to try um, rendering out some of my characters as sprite sheets. Huh. Pre-rendered yeah, 3D look. Yeah. Rivals of Aether uses, like, sprite strips.
that's gone. Oh. This music really doesn't fit what's going on. Hmm. No. Not really. Most randomizers in general will be like that, though. Except when it actually does, and it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm still remembering that time we all collectively lost it because of... <laughs> the door to darkness scene, but with open your heart. Hmm. Think he enters the room and open your heart. <laughs> yeah. Bad Future American Remix. Wow, what a mouthful. Just, just skip, skip Yuffie. I'm gonna skip everyone here. Bill? You never skip us, though. No. Yeah. 
don't have the fucking brain right now. So sorry if I don't have that much witty commentary. It's okay. I don't remember you ever equipping, like, that extra army slot, but apparently you did. Yeah. Ooh, I should switch these keyblades.
Again, needlessly, um... Needlessly intense music for a Winnie the Pooh stage. Yeah. It happens a lot in the randomizer, though. Yep. And also silly music for serious situations. Yep. Yes, it is. They double speed. They double up a lot of the mini game speeds. Ah. More peppions. No. Explosion and magnet burst. But then again, if I drank a caffeine and then waited, like what, uh, 10 hours until I drank another one, it should be fine, right? Nine hours, less than nine hours. I don't know. Uh, yeah, because it's currently 2.18 and I need to go in at midnight. Hmm. I don't know the rules about caffeine. It should be fine. I can drink two monsters a day with no adverse effects. A world that never was a world. Can any of you attack me at all? They're just not even trying. It's just one sided violence. Look at those things bouncing around. We're gonna kill them because they're heartless. That's Donald and Goofy's mentality. Okay, how about now? <laughs> They're friendly. <laughs> they don't want to hurt you. <laughs> They're just hopping around, having a good time. Makes this place kind of useless for form grinding. At least with the auto forms. Oh, there we go. Oh, they attacked once. They attacked so little that it felt more like an accident than actually trying to hurt you. <laughs> they jump over you. I never noticed before because you guys are trying to smash them when when you do see them, but like they're actually kind of cute. Mm. Just hopping around like that. Oh. Come on! Wait, you can turn off Donald and Goofy's AI. Yeah, you can customize their AI, and one of the options is. Well, no, nope. don't attack. Just support Sora. I didn't know that was a thing you could do. It's in the customize menu. In the vanilla game? Yeah. Huh. I never tried that before. I mean, not that I would need to. This 
Like, yeah, the same menu where you set spells on your shortcut menu. And have them fight with their own techniques, concentrate on whatever you're targeting, fight next to you, or fight other enemies, or just do nothing. Oh. That's or they can attack, attack one target until it's dead. You know, I think you would really like the, um... Have you, you haven't seen uh, Final Fantasy XII, have you? Nope, not yet. It has the ability to fully customize the AI. Huh. Like, you could set tasks for them and what priority they're at and program them, program them how you want. Interesting. Like, if, the, if one of your party members is low health, cast Cure on them and hmm. such like that. Or when there's an enemy nearby, attack whatever the party leader is attacking or something, right? Yeah. And you can put them in priority. You have a list of them. They're called Gambits. I have heard about Gambits, I think. It's a really cool system. I love it. I want to show you it sometime, if you don't mind. Sure. Hmm. These enemies are not giving me any drive orbs. They were probably working on 12 right after finishing Kingdom Hearts 2 now that I think about it. Or maybe even during Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2006. It was one of those late PS2 games, you know? Yeah. Excuse me. Mm. I, I should probably go get me some food. I'm going to go to the store and get dog food. Food is good. Yeah. Yeah. Have you had something to eat today? Yes. I am back. Hi, Chow. Welcome back. Mom made tacos. Ooh. Hell yeah, tacos. Y'all saw the tacos I made last night. They were not as good as they looked. I needed to add more seasoning to them. But there were no hard shells for these tacos, yeah. so it was very sad. Aww. I like to wrap up two shells and a tortilla. With some meat and some cheese, and that's just perfect. this in a previous stream and I keep forgetting because I can't quite understand him but what is Goofy saying when he gets knocked out again? I've had it fellas. Oh. Thank you. said the same thing last time. I know. <laughs> it's but, a weird line, to be fair. The way it's recorded. 
Well, what's more important is what the singer is saying during Fairy of AIF. Fairy of AIF! Fairy of AIF? From Sonic Gems Collection. Oh, what, which music is that? The remix of Aura Ice Field. Oh. It's very nice. But I don't understand what's being said at all. Interesting. See, I could take the long walk all the way to 7-Eleven and get me some of my nachos that I love. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just in time. Actually, but yeah, hmm. I'm thinking I need to get a boob. I'm thinking about girls. Ooh. Yeah, I'm always thinking about girls. Kate's the girl. Yeah, I, I think about her a lot too. Sometimes I wonder if I think too much. Hmm. Hmm. I think about so you can't be thinking too, too much of... <laughs> Can't be thinking too much if the thoughts are pleasant. I suppose so, huh? Though sometimes the thoughts are worrisome. Uh -huh. mm. I worry that I'm 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 too much sometimes. But she keeps reassuring me that I'm not, so I'm okay. I need to tell the anxiety. For once in your life, just enjoy things. Stop trying to look for problems with it. Okay, that's not uh, yeah. If I want to grow boob, I need to eat a good food. Yeah? So I'm gonna go to the store to open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. I thought you were gonna say the door to darkness. Save fellas! <laughs> I don't think 7-Eleven is the door to darkness. I mean... It could be. Depends on the location. <laughs> They are open late at night. I guess. But the lights are always on inside. True. Mm. I should do my stretches too. 
Stretching is good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make that joke, I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> you are unpure! <laughs> What's unpure, anyways? Uh, thoughts like that. I don't even know what you're talking about. My whole mentality is it feels good and it doesn't hurt anyone. And there's nothing wrong with it. But it's unpure. Yeah, but I don't care. <laughs> That's always my mentality. But I'm a wholesome 100. Yeah, well, I'm wholesome 100. I'm wholesome 200. <laughs> what is happening? War. But to be wholesome, you must be pure. I am pure. <laughs> then why do you think of the lewd innuendos where there are none? Because the reason why the lewd innuendos are you considered impure in the first place is because of the impressive structure that is world society, especially Western society, for thousands of years. Oh, damn! I went there. Oh, that's not too much for the stream. Um. I've held mains main for thousands of years. Darn, you got me beat. Wow. Are you the thousand year old dragon? Yes. Wow. Uh, the hot one though, not the child one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm leveled up now. That's cute. Um, you're cute. Yeah, <laughs> you're cute. Am I cute? Yes. I'm so happy to be cute. All cute. Yeah! You're cute. Mostly you, though. Yeah. <laughs> you are the cutest. And I'd argue the most wholesome. What? <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but okay. I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> You're always so good and nice and helping people and, and like trying and thinking of other people's feelings and it's really it's really nice. Really wholesome, really good. I'll have you know, I couldn't finish Xenoblade very quickly because I had to keep pausing because uh, because I was thinking too much about emotions, about the characters and and yeah. Wow. I can't I can't even finish games where you have to be mean to people sometimes. If I accidentally say the wrong dialogue option to an NPC and it makes them sad, sometimes I just have to reload my game. Even if it doesn't affect the story in any way. Hmm. Xenoblade 3 had me stuck before this major story event for for months because I was worried something bad was going to happen. Hmm. I can't. I'm scared to play Klonoa 2 because of what happened in Klonoa 1. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't spoil Klonoa 2 for me, though. Soro said it's not nearly as sad. But I'm still scared to do. To, 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 to. Really? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna do my stretchies, and then I'm gonna go get me something to eat, and then I'll be right back, okay? Hooray. Okay. Okay, see you when I get back. Yeah. Bye. Love you, have fun. Yeah, you too. You'll have to say you love her. <laughs> that sure is a music it played. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. BRB. BRB. Yes. See you in a should minute. I, should I stay in the call or should I exit the call? It doesn't matter, does it? I don't know. I mute my microphone either way. Sure. Okay, I'll stay here. Okay. Except I won't actually be here because I'm going to be over at the store, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, the stream was ASMR. So silly. Hmm? So silly. Me? Me, you, her. <laughs> it's a bunch of silly girls. Yep. Missing the hand from Tidelands. Darkness, which is pointless now. I already have final form. Oh. I was hoping the second hit group of enemies would be nobody's. But I guess not. Castle has wisdom. Space Paranoids has stuff. Magnet. Do you like magnets? How do they work? Mysteries. I still remember the time that I used a magnet to hold up an N64 cartridge and my dad was like, no, that's bad. Oh. Well, that might be bad. Yeah, probably. I don't remember what cartridge it was, but... Hmm. Okay. 
We're fishing. Fishing for Heartless. believe you'd put the instrumental version of you can do anything instead of the instead of the full version. I didn't do anything. I just put music packs in and that was in it. Uh. That's what it was. Never have too much defense. Mm hmm. Your favorite world Dragon. Except the person that's here isn't even half dragon, so let's play. I mean, or like full dragon. There is a dragon, or two. We got Mushu. He's a dragon. Yeah. You got dragons on the tent. Those are pictures! I can have pictures of dragons too! Fight a wind dragon at the end.
Or is it? Oh, it's wind and lightning. Multifaceted dragon. Yes. And also bombs. The dragon bombs. Fireworks have dragon heads on them. Mm. Oh my gosh, I can't leave yet. I can't find my kitty mask. Oh no. My, my face dysphoria has gotten kind of bad, so I want to wear something over there. So yeah. I wear a normal mask, but I want my kitty mask. Yeah, it's this. Did I ever show you the corn shirt I got, or did, was that another Discord I posted that in? I don't think I've seen that shirt. What? I'm sorry. I don't think I've seen your shirt, no. Yeah, you should post it so we can all see it. Right now, I am wearing a shirt with Anzu Megumi on it. <laughs> Some people do take moral issues with that. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna actually ask Kate later if she has an issue with it. Probably not. But I don't think that's a topic for the stream, is it? Oh. Angel Child didn't like it very much, though. Said I should not do that. Mm. Ideological differences, I guess. Do what? I'll tell you later. Oh. I gotta go find my mess. So I'll continue to look for it. And I'll be right back again. BRB again! Yeah. Okay. Let's get the picture. That's cute.
Get this Colosseum. Oh, there's a proof there. Yeah. 
worried about this cold and the mm -hmm. and the hospital appointment I have in a few, few weeks to in like a week to get to alleviate my pain can't really go there if I'm sick mm. I don't know it'll probably be gone by then I hope so Defense. That's as much as four tens. pizza tonight, apparently. How wonderful. It's called Joy Nova's. It's New York style. Hmm. Never heard of it. I think it's local. God, that reminds me of the time I went to, to Venice to do my uh, my make a wish. I wish I could bring you there. Uh -huh. It's a nice place, even if there's a lot of walking. Hmm. Not close enough to dying. I guess not. I mean, when I was newborn, maybe, but yeah, I don't know. Kidney transplant wasn't really a critical thing because we had that all set up already. Yeah. Good Peace. thing you're still around.
this version as much as the SA1 version. Yeah. That's true for, like, all the things that appear in both of the versions. Hey, money. If we go to Venice, then I'll give you the tour, like... Oh, this is where Sonic and Silver in 06 did blah blah blah. Hmm. That'd be fun. To be honest, I only recognize the boss battle area, the Silver. Huh. The one where he throws you into space? Yes. But there were lots of pigeons there. I mean... Yeah? We enjoyed the pigeons. <laughs> there were people that, you know, and that were selling bird seed to give to them. Makes and sense. Then they, and then they'd crawl all over you. Huh. That's it. And you enjoyed this? I like animals, do you? I think I've noticed that. Oh. <laughs> it's very big. Yes, I can see. It's the genie. It, okay. <laughs> Where are the enemies? I didn't properly walk into the loading trigger, I guess. Huh. I can activate some mode where I can just jump infinitely, I guess. I'm escaping right now. Whoa, what? Interesting. I've heard of burgers with an egg on it. I also had pizza with hot dogs and french fries on it. Ooh. Very American. Yes. No. Oh, you can't just... Your days are the two 
So good at this.
card. You do not deserve this music, Damix. Donald has a spell, finally. Really? Again?
Hello. Hi. Hi. I, I uh, fortunately I eventually found my face. It was hiding under my desk. Hmm. So it was actually really close to me the whole time. No, oh, that's a cute shirt, Chow. Oh, stream over? No. No, it just crashed. Oh. Like I guess I show you the shirt I'm wearing, but uh. Mm. Well, I'm not wearing it anymore, but you know. Even though I don't like this theme as much, he is still the best boy. Uh, or girl, depending on who you ask. Okay, well, I guess... What are we stuck on? Tried to go into the fight against Pete and the black screen. There's a proof later changed. in the world, so I can't finish the game. So it's a dead run, yeah. isn't it? Oh no. Aww. It's the second time in a row, I think. Jeez. I'm sorry. Yeah, well. That's really lame. It's work in progress, randomizer. Yep. Hmm. I, the only other thing I could think to do is maybe it's the boss itself causing it to do that. And I could try to remove them. You could. I don't know how you do that because I don't know nothing about modding these games. It's okay. I know how to do it. Yeah, you smart. I was so happy when I found that tool for extracting Kingdom Hearts 1 maps, though. Hmm. That's when I started on the Traverse Town mod for Sonic Adventure. I never finished it. But to be fair, that was more to see if I could do it than anything. Try again. Uh. 
Guess that's the end of the stream. Oh no. I mean, it's not a chunk of it. Guess I could technically keep streaming, just not this. Well, you know, it's whatever you want to do. I'm here either way. I got nothing to do today. Technically, I don't work until tomorrow. <laughs> uh, that still messes with my brain. Because I had to get ready for work on the previous day. Mm -hmm. Technically speaking. And I had to arrive there on the previous day, technically speaking. But my shift starts tomorrow. So, what else would you want to stream? I don't know. It'd have to be something short, because mm. probably going to have dinner in half an hour or less. Mm. But uh, back into Sonic Frontiers, mm. I guess. If you want, I mean, you said you were getting a little bit tired of it, right? Eh. <sighs> Yeah, kind of. I mean, you don't have to stream for 30 more minutes. Mm. It's up to you. This instead, I guess. Official Amy in CD. Mm -hmm. No hype for it. The trailer did say new characters, plural. I wonder if that just means Knuckles and CD or if it means more. Shadow in CD. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That wouldn't make sense. He wasn't awake yet. Then again, since when did canon matter? Hmm. True. They started abandoning it in the Sonic Adventure era when they erased the dialogue boxes mentioning Little Planet. It did? Or it didn't translate it at least. Uh. I can't remember. 
are they in the beta only, or were they in the Japanese release version? I don't know. It's the first time hearing about it. I can actually go check right now. I've got the Japanese version on actual hardware. Whoa. No, I'm still jealous you got the Sonic OVA on the Hmm. That is way cool. It's not in Japanese or anything. Uh. Once we all move in together, you'll have it too. We will share our treasures. <laughs> like Dragon recording it. No, I think Toro is the only Dwaggy. Well... Is Yoshi Kate technically a Dwaggy? I mean, Chow might be a dragon, depending on how she feels. Oh yeah, that's right, you have a dragon. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. It's just like Korra and Fire Emblem. I don't know much about Fire Emblem, so... Uh oh I accidentally the special stage. <laughs> I want to clip that. That was great. That's my kind of humor right there. Just graphical garbage. It's like, uh oh, I accidentally the special... That's something I would say. Yeah, I had the mod for the new special stages on when I was generating the randomizer seed. And that translates... it pulls the files because it has to use them when it's generating the pallets. Mm. So now it's all a mix. stage. Well, the color palette probably also helps a little bit. Though, I don't know if the color palette takes the edge off or makes it even more unhinged and weird and adds more anxiety. More intense. Not unhinged. Intense. That's what I meant to say. It's a Fanta Factory. Fanta Factory Zone, Act 1. <laughs> I see ya. Oh. But you know, a touch of randomness does make for some interesting visuals sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think it definitely does in this case. Oh. Sonic 2. The one where Tails is introduced. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, this one's kinda... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how it ended up like this. It's supposed to just... Future, maybe? Just... It's supposed to just shift the hues of the palette. Maybe this is good future. No, this is past. Oh. Uh, you can see the P icon. Oh, yeah. This is bad past. <laughs> the, the past was we, we used to have a Mountain Dew factory, but then it turned into a Phantom factory. Nobody liked Mountain Dew. 
I like Mountain Dew. No, you don't! Oh. Game over. I like Mountain Dew. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember back in the day when Mountain Dew and Code Red came out and I liked it a lot. Mm. Most of my here is the way to go. Eh, Root Beer is a little bit too strong for me, I'm not a fan. What? Mm. Toro loves Root Beer though. I like Coke. That's my drink. Lame! Sierra oh my Mist gosh. was my drink, but now they're taking it away from me. What was? Sierra Mist. They're not making Sierra Mist anymore? Nope. Now it's starry. And it tastes completely what? different. That was my favorite drink from back to then. How could they do this? Need to appeal to Gen Z. Apparently. Curse you, Gen Z! Curse you! Millennials rise up! Wait, uh, Chow, aren't you? Wait, no. You're, like, on the edge of the millennial generation, aren't you? I was born in 1999. Okay, yeah, you're, you're one of us. Generations are weird. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows when to define them. But I say if you were born in the 90s, you are a millennial. And maybe in the late 80s. Late 80s, early, uh, late 80s through most of the 90s, I consider us uh, millennials. Well, I was born in so December of 1999. Wow. Huh. Oh. Rude, I'm gonna get real close there. Starting birth years in mid 1990s to early 2000s at the end of birth years. Mm -hmm. Typically born 1981 to 1996. Oh, by that definition, you're a human. But, you know, we don't mind. You're nice. You're very good. We love you. Conditions aren't consistent at all, as all hell. It's just like star signs. That makes my little oh. sister a zoomer too, so don't feel bad. That star signs, like, what was I thinking of? Actually, I think you and my sister are about the same age. Um. Yeah, you all were both born in '99, I think. Or was it '98? Jenny doesn't know when her sister was born. I'm sorry. I should ask her, but it's embarrassing. I'm gonna send this clip to her. Please, no, okay? No. Well, if I send it to her first, then what? I don't Wait, know. no. Um, <laughs> huh. This is a Mountain Dew factory. 
got frozen by the cool, cool chill of Mountain Dew. <laughs> It reminds me of when we lived in Florida. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's a thing. underwater. This music kind of works. Oh my god, this is from... What's this remix from? Sonic Mania. Oh! That's the case with most of the good remixes, it seems. Hmm. Almost like T. Lopes is a really good composer. Not a single boss. Nope. Also from Sonic Mania, in case you were wondering. Sonic Man. Hmm. Oh, it's less than ten minutes. Game time. Seed never shows up. It's weird. Okay, well, I think oh, my dad well. just left to go get pizza, so. I'm gonna Tomorrow, end the stream here. Right here. Yeah. Love yeah. you. Have a good pizza. Bye -bye. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.